We arrived in Kansas City really late last night. <laughs> we came to get the we came to get the car this morning and I can't feel my hands. I'm shaking, I'm so cold. You're from New York. Yeah, that was 25 years ago. I got the Florida blood. My first regret of 2022. <laughs> Coming to Kansas City in the middle of a snowstorm. Help me, Jesus. Set a fire down <laughs> in my soul that I can't contain. Jesus. Starbucks sighting. I don't know how we're gonna get there from here. Gonna find a way. Oh, see the glory? We're trying to negotiate our way in, but apparently you can't go inside this Starbucks. I'm waiting for the report right now. What happened? It's a tiny little Starbucks. There's one across the road, she said. So what are we gonna do? Go there. Starbucks, looking for the Starbucks, looking, oh, I see it. As you can see, it's an ordeal just to get coffee in an hour, one hour, una hora, trying to find an open coffee shop. But you did it. What many people don't realize is, you know, Awakening House of Prayer has no affiliation with IHOP, but IHOP, International House of Prayer Kansas City, uh, really radically impacted my life. So I was leaving a church where it was very spiritually abusive, and a friend of mine said, turn on this 24-7 web stream of worship, and I did. And that's how I found Misty Edwards, and this, the being in the worship just brought such healing, and I've been out here to IHOP in Kansas City a number of times now, and every time it's just a very special time. I won't have that long today, won't have too many hours, uh, but just enough, I believe, to catch on to some revelation that I need to succeed in this next season with building our houses of prayer all over the world. We have eight houses of prayer, four churches, 300 prayer hubs as at the time of this recording, and 41 nations. And all that was inspired uh, sideways by IHOP. Although this is the only IHOP, um, God has put a multiplication anointing on the worldwide prayer movement and is really blowing on Awakening House of Prayer. And uh, I'm glad to be here and get refreshed. And uh, let's go inside.
came out of the prayer room, one of my favorite places on the earth. You know, we have a prayer room in Fort Lauderdale, so Awakening House of Prayer. We have prayer sets throughout the week, and you know, if you're in the region, come on by. If not, watch online. But here's the point. You need to take dedicated time in prayer. And even more so in this season, what the Lord is teaching me is, be still and know that I am God. Wait upon me. You know, prayer is not just about talking. Prayer is also listening. You know, when we pray what God tells us to pray, we're going to get prayer answers because, you know, John the Beloved said in Scripture that if we pray anything according to His will, He hears us. And we know that if He hears us, we have that which we've requested. And so we need to spend more time in this season, I believe, this is my firm conviction, waiting on the Lord with as few words as possible, just just sitting in silence and waiting for Him to break in with light and encounter our hearts with love and revelation that's going to help us to petition in the right way. And so there's no better place than a prayer room, wherever you can find one. You know, I mean, we've got them in several nations, Awakening House of Prayer, but you know, find somewhere, even if it's your own personal private prayer room, and just sit in the presence of God, listen for His voice, and then pray what He tells you to pray. And with that, I think it's time for some food because praying is hungry work. Are you hungry? Oh my gosh, I can smell the barbecue. All right, round two for prayer. What I really love, one of the things I really love at IHOP is worship with the word, where they take a scripture and they just respond to the scripture through song. And I love it. So let's go back in. The only thing is it's so relaxing sometimes after a while and after a big meal, I start to fall asleep, but that's okay. Because some of the greatest seers in history fell asleep praying in the midst of their worship. So don't feel bad if that happens to you. Don't be concerned if you fall asleep while you're praying. That just means you've entered into the rest of God. That's not a bad thing. Of course, sometimes you might just want a prayer walk because sometimes you need to pray all the way through, but it's not a bad thing to fall asleep, to be so sort of enamored with the Spirit of God and the presence of God that you just relax. Your soul becomes so still, so quiet, that it becomes, well, unconscious. Holy mountain of 